What's up everyone, it's Andy from Dino here and in Dino 144, we announced support for private NPM registries. And today, I'll show you how easy it is to get set up. But first, what exactly is a private NPM registry? It's basically a way for teams to share and reuse internal custom modules that aren't available on NPM. While these private registries are typically self-hosted, there are many NPM private registry providers that you can use as well. Dino has supported importing NPM modules since 128 via the NPM specifier. And now at 144, you can import private NPM modules from a private NPM registry. I have here a JavaScript module called Yassify that I've published to GitHub packages. Let's create a new project where I can use this private module Yassify. First, I'll create an NPM config file. If you only want to pull from the private registry for this project, you can create the file in the project's root directory. In the NPM config file, you'll have to set your scope and the registry to the address of your private registry. Since I published my private module on my personal GitHub, the scope is my GitHub username. And here's the address of the GitHub package registry. Finally, you'll have to provide an auth token. Since we are using GitHub for our private registry, I'm using an auth token with read package permissions that I created through the GitHub settings. Let's create an import map in dino.json. Now, let's create the main.ts file. I'll add the import statement for Yassify. Then finally, let's call Yassify on a string. Let's run it. Great, it works. You can also use private NPM registries in your package JSON file. If you're using Dino on a team and want to install proprietary or custom internal modules, check out private NPM registries.